this lab exercise is going to be very quick and we are going to learn about disk partitions of course we are not going to uh, see how to partition disks okay because we have already covered that when we uh, uh, created video on uh, how to set up Linux from scratch okay we installed Linux we specified the partition layout we chose what partitions we wanted how much disk space what partition type or file system type everything but we can cover that again uh, in a later video this is going to be about partitions only so let me clarify run this command df so it will show you what these partitions you already have how to check these partitions I, I should have said that earlier to be better okay or uh, more clear so these are the partitions uh, currently my system has got of course there are some partitions which are not so um, related to our work for example temporary FS so they are runtime steps only but our permanent storage is home boot slashware slash TMP and the root file system etc okay so I can do this thing with the DF command use hyphen T a small T and say that I am interested only in the F XFS okay but how do I know which one is XFS or not so let's do this use H it shows you the size instead of 1k blocks the actual size in human readable format so 12z 500 MBs etc now use capital T it will show you the type so the type column is here now so XFS temporary FS dev temporary fs etc are there now so you can now say that i'm interested only in xfs so these are my permanent mounts or storage points or you can say just partitions of course we can also say exclude exclude anything which is temporary file system So slash dev is a type of temporary file system, but it is device temporary file system. So we can exclude that also. Now the thing is, what we want here is use this command. Okay, sometimes you don't need this uh, capital P option uh, because 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 uh, here all columns are properly aligned or I, I should say or all rows okay individual lines but sometimes it may so happen that this file system uh, column might have a value which is quite longer longer than this maybe it 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 is as much long as this you know so the next columns uh, what happened they are not properly aligned you see the output of that line on the next line so using hyphen capital P uh, will you know line them up properly so you can use P also now another thing is mount it's a separate command it also shows you all the uh, currently mounted file systems devices etc so the output is not that much you know friendly user friendly I would say but you can say slash uh, grab home so I'm interested in uh, in the you know, uh, this particular partition so I can check that this is a device mounted on this and the type is XFS so mount command by default shows you the type and other options you used okay these are mount options so mount command shows you the mount options also for example this one so these all, all these uh, things in the parentheses or brackets are mount options let's say for slash TMP yes slash TMP is there and these are the mount options available okay, let's use root but we see many entries here because this forward slash appears almost in every line so what we can do now okay let's see home so every line has this uh, forward slash so it doesn't make much sense but maybe there is something called root okay so this uh, volume is there mounted on this 
forward slash that is the root uh, directory and these are the mount options so these mount options may differ for uh, you know uh, for your partitions anyways now uh, which one you should use it is up to you frequently you should use this thing these options with the df command now another thing is why should I use mount because it tells you the file system type and the mount options also so df command also tells me file system types but it does not tell you uh, what mount options have been used where else can we see uh, those entries permanently residing on our uh, system okay so there is a file this file slash etc fs10 it has entries for your permanent uh, mounts so for example my root partition there is an entry for this that this is the uh, partition I can access it by pointing to this uh, directory or root partition or root directory and this is the type and some default settings are available there and then other values okay now similar entries for the other ones for XFS you will see 0 0 value here okay that is for this check and how frequently you want that this check to happen so it is not applicable to XFS so we have chosen defaults here so that means uh, the default or mount options will be used but we can specify them we can modify them in this file now another thing is uh, if we don't mount don't want any particular uh, partition to be available we can just uncomment it sorry comment it out in this file okay but be careful because it will not be available and your application or any service or user accessing that mount point you know may have a problem so first ensure that nobody is accessing it or no application is accessing it then you can just comment it out so that it will not be mounted automatically when you reboot your system but if you want to unmount it temporarily for the time being and you you are not going to reboot your system you can just use you mount command so use mount to check all the mounts and uh, currently there and use you mount to unmount so for example i can say slash where to unmount it i can also specify the source name like that but i'm not going to do that if i do that what happens it says target is busy okay because this is used by this directory or you know mount point and it is currently busy i'm x i'm i'm working on this system there are services accessing this uh, directory or path how can I check that <laughs> that that we are going to cover in a uh, in another video now so uh, okay so I make a note of that and how to check what directory or partition is being used by what uh, application or user so we'll cover that in a uh, in some other video uh, most likely tomorrow I'll do that or after this video now lsblk use this command it will tell you in a very nice manner so this is the heading or header so it tells you that your hard disk is SDS so you actually have only one hard disk and it has been partitioned into two hard disk or partitions okay saying two hard disk does not sound good so the hard disk is one and it has been partitioned into two you know partitions so sd1 and sd2 sd1 is used uh, for your boot partition or uh, your system partition you can say sd2 has been used as the uh, separate partition and it has been uh, further divided into different logical partitions so this sd2 is part of your lvm you see here lvm entries so your LVM uh, is having SD2. So LS block, okay, or list block devices. These are major and minor numbers of each, uh, uh, you know, uh, disk partition or hard disk. And size you can check here. Now another thing is, uh, look at this type. 
column also so this is your disk the actual disk and this is your partition hd1 this is also your partition and these are logical volumes under hd2 so you can recognize them by these mount points helpful so we have covered df we have also covered uh, ls block and we also covered mount and u mount also be covered but uh, it is uh, you can use it uh, in your environment as per your requirements okay we have covered all of them now if i hit enter what is gonna happen each command separated by a semicolon okay we can use commands like that okay combine them together so but you mount might fail because we are not specifying what we want to unmount so we have covered those commands uh, guys and uh, before i end this uh, video let's have a look at one more thing blk id okay block id or block devices id so our first partition is stf1 it's uuid is this so if you want to access the uuid you can use this command and check what uuid this disk or partition is having what is the block size what is the type these other information are also available and part uuid or partition uuid okay this uid is actually used in your it etc fsd file also okay uh, we can verify it use this for example grab grab this logical volume okay let's see so in this uh, file you might use uuid instead of this let's see if we have any So we have one entry for the boot and we have specified UUID and given the UUID. So you can check that. So this is the UUID being used here for your boot partition. So we have covered all of them now. Uh, all of them what I mean is all those useful commands. Okay. So to troubleshoot uh, uh, or identify what disk space uh, you know uh, is looking like, you can use df command, ls block or list block devices. You can use that to check all your uh, partitions. You can use mount command as well. So it will show you what actually uh, mount options you have used because saying default does not tell you what defaults are. And U mount, you can unmount any partition so that that partition or disk will be unavailable for use. And block ID just give you the UUIDs. Okay, so use these uh, commands, and uh, I can uh, very well uh, close this with the introduction of this command du, which I have already covered in uh, some other video. But you can use du command also. So du command will just tell you that any particular directory how much disk space it is utilizing so if you use hyphen s and h so it will give you a summary so my home directory is actually um, occupying 11 mbs of size so if i say this uh, disk free utility tells me that this is the device mounted on slash home okay this is the total size this is the available size and this is the percentage used but if I just want to know how much actually this uh, disk is you this uh, directory is using then I can use du command okay I might just want to take a backup of uh, this uh, log directory so before taking backup I can check what is the size so that I can ensure that uh, when I am taking a backup I have enough space available maybe on pen drive maybe on some other uh, server or maybe elsewhere in uh, in the same system on some other hard disk okay so this is the size it is actually consuming 
So if I say df hyphen a slash square, I have no idea of what is the actual space being used by this directory because this partition is mounted on slash square and I don't know how much this space is used by slash square slash log. So I can use du hyphen sh. If I do df hyphen h slash square slash log, it will still tell me that this is the partition mounted on slash where so that means log slash where slash log is not a separate partition it's a directory or folder under slash where and slash where is holding a partition or disk or logical volume so use du command along with df okay to troubleshoot disk space related issues and i have already made videos on that so guys uh, I'll see you in next video. Bye-bye.